Hi, my name is Ellie, and in a series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the features of Vedemo Virtual Classroom. I hope you find this useful. Welcome to Vedemo Virtual Classroom. Let's see how to use the whiteboard pages. Whiteboard pages feature in Vedemo allows you to distribute the teaching content in the virtual classroom. In this way, you can switch between the different activities and create the perfect sequence of your lessons. You can add new pages by clicking the plus button at the bottom left corner of the screen. This feature is only visible to the host and the presenters. There is no restriction in the number of pages that can be created. Import all the materials needed for the session from the File Library button. You will find it on the right side of the screen. When importing documents and images, you can choose the pages of the document to be distributed on different whiteboard pages. You can also upload a template from the three vertical dots at the bottom of the screen. Custom content can be created using the whiteboard tools on the left side. To switch between pages, just click on the page number at the bottom left corner and it will become active. To preview the content on any page, simply hover over it. To edit a page, click the single arrow icon on the button. By doing so, a few options will be shown. If you need to have two or more pages with the same content, select the Duplicate button. In this way, you can have participants working individually on their own page. If you want to do that, you have to allow participants to browse the pages. Go to the whiteboard settings and choose Allow participants to browse the whiteboard pages. You may even write your participants' names instead of the page's numbers. Choose the Rename option, type a name, and then press Enter to save the changes. Or you could rename the pages and write the types of activities you are planning to do. If you want to keep the page but to delete all of its content, you can use the Clear button. Keep in mind that once this is done, you will not be able to undo this action. If you decide that you don't need a particular page, you can remove it. In general, all the pages can be removed except if you have only one page left. If you want to remove all the pages at once, use the three dots icon to open the menu again and choose Delete All. All the pages will be removed but one. It will be blank. Having multiple whiteboard pages allows you to keep each of your activities on a separate page and simply switch to another. It is an easy way to manage the uploaded content and keep the whiteboard organized. Import your beautiful worksheets on the whiteboard and start teaching now. Thank you for watching. You can also check the detailed step-by-step -step article in the description of this video. Happy teaching!